Hello and welcome to Docker CLI, an introduction. Docker CLI is a command line interface tool offered by Docker to work with it. It is really important for Docker users to get familiarized with Docker CLI and master them. Docker CLI is not only extremely important but also much more easier and fun to learn and use. Almost all the commands have similar structure and they are designed for simplicity. Thus, Docker CLI is much more easier to use and they are more flexible to configure. Let's get over to Terminal and try out few of the most important Docker commands and get familiar with Docker CLI. I am in my terminal now. Just make sure that Docker is up and running. So, Docker is running here. As we have already seen, Docker command is analogous to Docker dash dash help, which means this command will help by listing down all the options and subcommands that you will have that you can use along with this command. The commands are designed in a way that they are really simple to follow and most of the commands follow the same pattern. For example, to get help with docker image, you can go ahead and type docker image. This command is analogous to docker image hyphen hyphen help and list down all the subcommands that you can use along with the docker image command. By default, docker configuration is stored in the docker folder in your home directory, the docker folder in your home directory. Let's head over to that directory and see what it has. I'm opening the Docker folder with my Sublime Editor. So this has a list of files in it. You should not modify any of these files because they might end up in corrupting your node Docker installation. But you can configure the config.json file, which helps you to configure certain outputs of Docker commands. The config.json has several properties. As you can see here, these HTTP headers are used to send out with all the requests that are sent from Docker client to Docker daemon. The grid store and dots are helpful in storing the Docker login information. Docker here uses the native keychain that is more secure than reinventing the wheel. Also, you can configure the output format of certain Docker commands. For example, Docker ps command will list down the container ID, image, command, created status, ports, and image names in a table of format. You can go ahead inside your config.json file and then add ps format followed by a double braces in which you can tell a variable with a dot notation on it. And when you come back and run here, you can see that nothing is getting listed because there are no images that are running. And also, you're not printing it in tabular format, which means there are no headers too. On the other hand, you can go ahead and run docker ps a You can see two IDs are listed here. You have changed the format in which docker ps command is working. This will be extremely helpful when you have to configure and you need to see only certain data on your docker ps command. And you can reset the property by just going ahead and then deleting it which means it will take the value from the default. So running docker-psa, you can see the list of stuffs again listed in the default docker-ps format.